Hey folks, um, we're going to look at another few things in Unity. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on handling the Unity web player. Uh, in case you don't know, you can in fact publish your Unity content to a web page. I think even the free version of Unity does that. So you can see here, here is a model of the campus that I'm working on. You can see that I've done like a toon shaded effect here on purpose so that you can um, easily see the buildings and whatnot. Uh, but this is a 3D map of the campus and um, there's a few things about the web player, the basic web player, the way it is that I wanted to change. For example, um, I wanted the person to look around by dragging the left mouse button. And I wanted to give them the ability to orbit the camera by dragging with the right mouse button. Okay, So that way they can see all the different areas of the campus and stuff. There's my building right there! Anyway, um, so anyway, uh, I found what the normal Unity web player, uh, when you right click on something or right drag, uh, it's going to bring up a pop up menu and gives you options like full screen and stuff like that and gives you versions of Unity. So the first thing I needed to do was to disable the uh, pop up window so that I could move around with the right mouse button. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And also because the um, full screen uh, menu item was um, how can I say it? The full screen item was was taken away because the right mouse uh, m menu button is gone. Uh, I had to create a full screen uh, button here that would take the presentation into full screen, and so I had to create a button that did that. So I'll show you how to do that. And then finally, when you um, when you go over one of the uh, campus buildings here and it lights up, you can see here that the departments in there are, are available to you. So you can click on the department, bring the web page up, so you can um, bring it up. But uh, I didn't want to have them go back out and out and back, uh, you know, from the uh, presentation because then Unity has to reload every single time. So I wanted to take the default uh, the default thing of uh, you know. Um, uh, opening up in, in, in how can I say this? Excuse me, I'm having a little bit of a brain fart here. <laughs> um, opening up the web page normally would open up using the uh, application.openurl command in Unity. That would normally open the web page in the same browser window, and then that would replace everything. You'd have to go back and reload the presentation. So I wanted to open it in a new tab or a new window, and so I'm going to show you how to do those three things. So I'm going to show you how to um, get rid of the um, the pop-up window here with the right mouse uh, and I'm going to show you how to go full screen from the web player. I'm going to show you how to uh, open up a URL in a separate window or tab. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the uh, web page URL or um, web source. So here is the uh, web page that was created by Unity but I, I kind of modified it a little bit. So when you come in uh, and, and you build for a web player uh, you're going to get uh, a web page and you're going to get a, a plugin uh, file for, for Unity and this is the web page but I've gone ahead and I've I've kind of modified it a little bit. These This line here was originally not in the original I can for example take it take it out. So this is what the original code looked like. Actually this function wasn't in here either. I added that and that's going to come into play later. So the, if you want to get rid of the uh, right click um, menu uh, in the web player what you need to do is just you need to modify this function here which is built for you by the Unity uh, when you build. Uh, just go ahead and type in a line like this. var params equals and then inside of the uh, inside of this you can add all the different parameters that you want to change. In this case I wanted to disable the context menu so disable context menu equals true. Then in the next line that actually embeds the Unity web player into the uh, into the page. I just added the params value at the end of that. Okay, so that's simply how to disable the right-click um, menu that normally comes up. All right. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is because I've disabled the right-click uh, button there or uh, pop-up menu, I needed to have a button that goes full screen. So if I click on full screen, okay, just like Flash Player, you hit escape and it exits you out of full screen. All right. And to do this, it's very very simple. Uh, I just created a um, a button here, 
and here is the entire code that you need to do that. It's just one line of code. So I create a button, labeled it full screen, and I just said uh, when you click on this button, set the resolution to screen.width, screen.height, and the last parameter is true, and that's all you have to do to go full screen. And then going out of full screen is handled for you because, like I just showed you, you just hit the escape uh, and it's it, it's uh, handled by Unity. So that's simply all you have to do to do that. Okay, so let's look at um, the final piece of the puzzle that I showed you. Uh, where's, where's the presentation? So again, when you click on a college, um, when you click on one of the, uh, the the button here, it brings up a web page, but it brings up the web page in a different tab, and so I'll show you the code to do that. So let's go down through the code here, and here we go. Normally, uh, if you want to load a web page, you would use this application.openurl. And then you see I have an array of websites here, and I just call the uh, appropriate website when you click on the button. All right, but uh, because that that default uh, behavior opens up, you know, takes over whatever you've been doing, so you know you, they would have to reload Unity in order, or they would have to use their browser back button. Uh, I didn't want to do that, so I had to change things a little bit. Instead of application.open URL, the application in this uh, case is in fact the uh, web browser. That's what we're talking to here when we say application. Do something. Uh, we're going to say application. External call. And we're going to say call this external uh, function called load iframe, and give it the variable of which website to load. All right. And this is important to know because if you're doing anything with, uh, you know, basically what I'm doing here is calling a JavaScript that's a function that's embedded in the uh, web page source. So any, if you want to call any JavaScript. Uh, this would be what you would use to do that from inside the web player. Okay, so the, you can see the uses for this going through the roof. You can, you know, interface the rest of the web uh, using this method here. All right. So I just go ahead and I call the uh, JavaScript function that is inside of the HTML code, and then the last part of it is let's go ahead and look at the actual JavaScript function called load, I load iframe, and there it is. And so it's very simple. We just pass it the URL, which is here. And we say window.open the URL, and we just give it a new window or window name. And so basically, this from here on out, this is all JavaScript. So from here on out, you can mess with this uh, any way you like using JavaScript. All right. So that's the basics of that. So let's go ahead over this again. What we did was we. Um, we disabled the right click menu here by going into the HTML uh, code and adding a parameters value uh, set disable context menu to true add that to the end of our embed unity code uh, we create a full screen button we whoops wrong code there we go full screen button and uh, we just set the screen resolution to be the screen width and the screen height we set that to true and then finally we called an external JavaScript using application.external call and we fed it a uh, variable you know a website URL and then we just created inside of our web page code here we just uh, went ahead and created a function and uh, we just created some JavaScript that opened up a new uh, um, web, web uh, window uh, the thing to be aware of is that every time you publish your unity content um, if you rebuild your project over and over again like I do, then it's going to overwrite this code that you've already written with some new code that doesn't have the, this, these functions that you build in. So I would just keep a copy of this stuff off to the side that has all these functions and stuff and just kind of overwrite the um, uh, web page that uh, Unity uh, builds for you. Okay, so that's Unity handling the, uh, uh, the web player and all different things you can do with it.